What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Captain Cardiac. Today I'm going to be reviewing every single pick in the 2018 NFL Draft and I will be giving my grades for every single player. So real quick, the first few players are gonna in picks are going to go by kind of fast because they're not all that amazing and most of the players won't do an incredible amount in the NFL. We'll be starting with the last pick and going on to the first pick. So let's go ahead and go. First off, Simeon Thomas, defensive back from Louisiana. I gave this a C because not that much about this pick. Um, kind of a funny story. He didn't get to play until his junior season, but he didn't get to keep his grades up. So keep your grades up, kids. Moving on. I told you this. the first ones are going to go by really fast. And then I like this pick right here, 175th overall, Damian Riley, wide receiver from Texas A&M. Actually, had 920 yards, and was Texas A&M's star receiver. So I think this guy, possibly, he just doesn't have a great college skill set, but if we can take him and capitalize on him and really coach him up, he could possibly become a starter in the NFL. I gave this an A because I'm quite excited by this. I think obviously not a high A because, you know, but I think getting as far as value for our pick, this kid gives us some value and gives us some potential. And then fifth round, Gerard Avery, who's a linebacker out of Memphis. Um, he's, This guy, I gave him a B plus. Kind of another f fall in the draft. Not as big as Damian Ratley, but I think he had... 22 tackles for a loss, and was number 10 in the nation for tackles for a loss. So, I think, yeah, this guy, Omni, could bring him in and possibly help strengthen our defense. Another guy who was a good steal at that peg. Um, you know, I think definitely does have a chance to succeed. And then, now, fourth round, this is a pick. Ooh, 105, Antonio Callaway. This is a truly interesting pick. Antonio Callaway is one of those kids who really is crazy freaking good at a receiver. Just has all the talent in the world, but sadly he's gotten he's he's done a lot of drugs in college. Has failed a lot of drug tests. I gave this a B minus. I think obviously if we take Antonio Callaway and if we coach him up right. If he pans out and plays like he played in college, we are going to have a really good receiver. And I mean really good. This kid's crazy good. And I think really could have gone in the first round if he didn't get so caught up in drugs. And then obviously it's just a B- minus because if he keeps doing drugs and can't keep his act clean, we're going to have kind of a glunt. He's going to be kind of like the older Josh Gordon. So I'm rooting for you, Antonio Callaway. Hopefully you do some good things in Cleveland. And then in the third round, uh, we pick number 67, we selected Chad Thomas. I gave this one a C-. minus. I didn't like this pick very much. Chad Thomas was a little bit overdrafted. Um, he is great. He's great strength. Um... But he just doesn't have that much athleticism. And really, we could have picked him in like the fourth, maybe even fifth round. Um, this is kind of our consolation prize for not getting Bradley Chubb. But yeah, I don't like this pick. I don't think he's going to pan out. He was definitely overdrafted. But you never know. I mean, crazier players have done crazier things. And now third round, pick number 35. Very excited about this one. Nick Chubb running back from Georgia. Oh my god. Very excited about this, obviously. Nick Chubb had was a freaking beast last year. Hopefully, obviously, he's one of those guys where it's just kind of sort of similar to Rat Damian Ratley in the sense that he has a that he has a very kind of a more of a college skill set. Um, but I think definitely with the success and production he got last year, I think Nick Chubb could really be incredibly good in the pros. So very happy by this. Uh, very, uh, very thrilled to have a player of Chubb's magnitude and skills here. Um, I gave this one a B plus because obviously Bradley Chubb's a quite a skilled player. 
will greatly strengthen our running core and hopefully we'll make some tremendous, tremendous plays. Kind of like, the kind of thing about this, Chad Thomas was our consolation for Bradley Chubb. Um, Nick Chubb was our consolation for not picking Shaquan. And Nick Chubb is actually Bradley Chubb's cousin. So, like I said, thrilled about this pick. Bradley Chubb should be great. And then pick 32nd overall, Austin Corbett out of Nevada. I'm thrilled by this pick. Um, obviously, Joe Thomas retired during the offseason, and we really need someone to strengthen our offensive line. Corbett could be that man. It's similar to Jabril Peppers, who we drafted last year, in the sense that he can play every single position on the offensive line. You want him to go tackle, guard, center? He's your man. Um, I'm thrilled by this. Great, just very skilled. I, I, you know, I, I, just, <laughs> I just love that we could just be like, hey, go to that position. I got you, coach. I love that. Um, I gave this one an A+. Plus. This was this is a great pick to help make up for Joe Thomas's loss. I think he's gonna. I think he can possibly be a very very good starter in the NFL. Thrilled by this. Hopefully he'll up strengthen our offensive line. And then moving on to the first round, the main event round, the round that everybody watches. So. Pick number four, we got Denzel Ward, hometown kid out of Ohio State. A lot of people didn't like this pick when we first made it, and I'll admit, I didn't either. I do think Bradley Chubb was a bit of a better player, but cornerback was a much bigger need for us. And as far as our, de and as far as our defensive line, I mean, we have Miles Garrett and Emmanuel Ogg, but I think they're both more than capable of holding it down. And over their secondary, the only guy that really could do things is Demarius Randall. I think another thing with Denzel that's great, obviously shutout corner, just crazy good in Ohio State. He's a day one starter. We'll be able to bring him in week one. He'll be out there playing. Um, I did give this a B plus. Like I said, Bradley Chubb was a bit of a better player, but this was a bit of a better pick. I'm, I'm happy, man. Denzel Ward's about to come in. It's going to beast out this season. Going to get some very, very nice picks. I think this kid's going to be our best corner since Joe Hayden himself. And I'm not joking. This kid just a tremendous amount of talent. And now pick number one, my boy Baker Mayfield. I gave this an A+. And my quarterback analysis, I already raved enough about Mayfield. Real quick, just best leader I've seen in football in a while accurate arm can scramble and another thing besides of course me thinking and personally listen I was so excited we drafted Baker Mayfield I threw a pillow across my house but <laughs> I think he's a great play a tremendous player leadership's great arm talents amazing I think he has all the tools to be a franchise quarterback. And then, I mean, there are about four or five guys we could have taken in this round. And John Dorsey really picked his guy. Um, trim, props to him. That's another reason why it's an A+. Plus. He did not listen to all the press and really went with a guy who he thought was the best. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos just like this one and comment down below what was your favorite player the browns drafted thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye